Our next stop is the heart of darkness. And despite only being three years old, the brand has already established itself as one of the leading brewers in Vietnam. The tap room was built three years ago to showcase its beers, but with a new addition to the team and the talent that is Michael Rose from Jane Bistro's fame, some exciting things are happening in the kitchen as the heart of darkness brings its food up to the very high standards set by its sales. Let's go and see what's going on. Good morning, I'm John. I'm the CEO and founder of The Heart of Darkness, and we are currently at The Heart of Darkness. Uh, we are one of Saigon's leading craft breweries, and so welcome. Well, we wanted a flagship bar that could be somewhere that our customers could come and interact with the brand. Uh, we carry 20 beers here. We distribute 10, but we always have 20 beers on tap here. We're very much about innovation and experimental craft beer, so we wanted a place where we could just really express our art, basically. I lived in the US for eight years, um, discovered craft beer. As an Englishman moving to, England, to America, that was terrifying. I just thought I was moving to the land of Bud, Bud Light and Coors and all that lot. Um, ended up falling in love with craft beer. Then I moved to China, was there for eight years. Uh, no craft beer, only Qingdao and Heineken. So out of frustration, I, I learned to homebrew. By pure coincidence, I was uh, at the bar with uh, my good mate, Tony, and uh, an acquaintance of his walked in, Andrew joined us for the beers. Um, Tony was like, let's go back to your place, mate, and drink your beer. So we did, uh, and Steve-O took a slug on what's now uh, our Kurtz's Insane IPA. And went, oh, mate, we got open a brewery. So the Heart of Darkness was born. With 20 beers of their own, plus another 10 guest ales from across Asia and Vietnam, there is an incredible choice of beer to suit any palate that walks its human inside. We got to chat with a man who keeps the beer going and the conversation flowing. Ben has been on the right side of the bar for two years, keeping the team knowledgeable of the new products and concepts which appear weekly at the tap. I'm Ben and I'm from Australia and moved over from Bangkok two and a half years ago to work for Heart of Darkness. Uh, since then I've, I've worked in this bar and uh, also helped uh, develop the Singapore team. Uh, but my primary residence and focus here is Vietnam. Having traveled a lot around Asia and the world, what do you feel about the current vibe of the city? I mean, everyone says it's an up and coming place, but I think, I think it's already a, a great place to visit. There's a good mix of um, still uh, local Vietnamese sort of friendly culture mixed in with a, a growing city. There's endless things to do here. And, um, and not like I said, hanging out with Vietnamese people is actually, it's a great, been a great experience. I have a lot of Vietnamese friends where in the past I haven't had so many local friends before. Relaxed atmosphere, lots to do, um, and just great people to hang out with. And the most important question is, how do you keep your skin so white? A lack of vitamin D. Working at nights, it, it helps. It helps to do that. It's, it's rare I see the sunshine. Next, we headed upstairs to have a chat with Michael Rose, whose background in fine dining, seat-to-table cooking, and American-style barbecue is about to bring a whole new dynamic edge to the menu at the Heart of Darkness. I'm Michael Rose, and I'm the new executive chef here at Heart of Darkness in Saigon, Vietnam. With an amazing background from fine dining to Castro bars and barbecue. I want to know what first job really brought home the importance of fresh ingredients and homestyle chefing. So one of my first jobs I had was working in a seafood restaurant where the front is a uh, wholesale seafood market and then every, every morning we get fresh seafood, uh, scallops, uh, grouper, straight to the restaurant and we prepare on site, present to the table. Now I know you're working night and day at the moment redeveloping the menu. Can you let us in and tell us what's happening behind the scenes? A little bit of a secret, but we're going to start doing long 12, 14 hour smokes on ribs and try to really bring the classic American Salt Lake barbecue. And for those who don't know, what's a Salt Lake barbecue? Salt Lake barbecue is a famous restaurant in Texas that they run their smoking pit 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and it never stops. And it is kind of an icon of American barbecue. And talking to you earlier, redeveloping a menu utilizing all the great beers on offer is actually a huge undertaking. How are you feeling one weekend? I'm excited. I'm excited to bring my concept of farm to table and working through passion and love, we can really give a nice touch on new American food here. With amazing beer, great service and a new menu which looks like it's about to light a fire under the barbecue scene in Saigon, Heart of Darkness really ticks a lot of boxes for pretty much any occasion. It was also great to hear about how the team operates. No matter your level within the company, new ideas were not just welcome, but encouraged. And that shone true during our visit and gave the business a real dynamic edge at all levels. 
We'll be coming back in a few weeks to check out how the new menu is progressing and learning a little more about the new seasonal beers coming to the menu. 